Thank you, pa Media Past District Director Lori Shapiro. Whoa. Whoa. Now it's time for the, well, assuming she was installed tonight, our very first inaugural speech from our District Director, Christine Brady. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster Michael Osier. What a wonderful treat it is to have you as the Toastmaster for our meeting tonight. Well, welcome to all of my district leaders, all of our guests. So proud to be serving as your district director. And before I start in with my notes, I wanted to address something that Alfred talked about, and he talked about rowing. And one thing I've learned, even though Alfred had to point out that I row inside in a row studio, is when you're rowing on the water, it's so important that the team pulls together. I don't know if you know that, but any little time that you are not pulling together, that's what we call it, we're pulling together, you can actually tip the whole boat over and fall in. And if you were in a race, well, that's not gonna help you win. And so his, his comments are extra important tonight because it's so important that we are a team and that we do pull together. We need to be in sync as we are moving forward in this new program year for Toastmasters. Now, three years ago, I was returning from an Alaskan cruise that I was lucky enough to attend with Dr. Diana D, Dan Cossack, Norman Franny Sign, and of course, Siri Payakapan. Now, Siri and her husband, Renong, and I took the train from the cruise terminal back to the Vancouver airport once that was done. And Siri, of course, took the time to talk about my leadership journey and what I planned on doing next. The truth was at that point, I had just finished serving as division director and I was looking forward to taking time off from leadership. The new job I had started wasn't as flexible as promised and I didn't feel able to take on new and bigger challenges. But as you know, life had different plans. Within the next few weeks, I had a call from Dan Cossack asking me to serve as public relations manager and I agreed and my leadership journey took on a new trajectory. Now, under Dan's mentorship, I learned more about serving at the district level. I was encouraged by that trio of Dan Cossack, Diana D, and Lori Shapiro to run for club growth director. And I wanna tell you that that was the first leadership position that I wanted to achieve on my own, that someone didn't say, I see something in you in order to push me into that role. My motivation to be club growth director actually pushed me to look for and land a new job that was in a more geographically central position in the district. As Alfred alluded to, district leadership is a lot of work and it requires careful planning to maintain a balanced life. As our keynote and international president Deepak Menon stated, service is at the core of our leadership. So being able to have a full-time job a family, personal fitness goals that Alfred mentioned, all while accomplishing my personal Toastmasters goals within my club, while also inspiring fellow district leaders to achieve their goals. That is a tricky business, but I'm here to tell you that it is possible. I'm not superwoman at all, but I've learned along the way to let go of what doesn't serve the district goals and to fight for what does. This is why I've chosen the unofficial, unbranded theme for this year of Follow Your Arrow. This is the title of one of my all-time favorite songs by Casey Musgraves. And in the song, she expresses that there is no way to make everyone happy, and your best bet in life is to just follow your arrow. Don't worry about what others think. I want all of you to think about that phrase for just a moment. Now think about your own personal goals and think about what it takes to launch yourself on the trajectory to accomplish these goals. You have to keep your eye on the target in order to get there. But in terms of the district, what does follow your arrow mean? It means that I will lead my team to accomplish the district mission. 
that district mission as delivered so beautifully by the power couple, Norman Franny Stein, that we build new clubs and support all clubs in achieving excellence. Together with Program Quality Director David Hosmer and Club Growth Director Ken Spears, our division and area directors, we will all be working hard to build our membership within our existing clubs and provide value to our members through training and workshops. I'm so excited for what this year has in store for us. Now, I know this year hasn't turned out the way that we had hoped. It's summer and we should all be going on vacation, enjoying the OC fair, and gathering with friends and family at the beach. Instead, we are masked and stuck at home. But this is opening new opportunities for many of us to take on new challenges. Zoom has opened up the world to all of us with video meetings from the comfort of our own home. We had Deepak Menon attend our installation event here tonight. We will all be able to attend the International Convention for free. Now, I know it's not the same as being there in person, but what an opportunity this is to make the world feel like a smaller place. Follow your arrow. Think about what that means for you and for the district. I look forward to chatting with you and hearing about your goals and everything you hope to accomplish this year. Your personal goals, your goals for your area, and your goals for your division. Again, I am honored to be serving as your district director. And if you had asked me on that train to the Vancouver airport if I would be here today in this role, I would have told you you were crazy. But the last three years in serving as your public relations manager, your club growth director, and program quality director has prepared me to lead our district to Smedley Distinguished. Mr. Toastmaster. Hey, Christine.